we're looking to facilitate potential. It's had a lot of influence on my life. Very inspirational. Mindset always comes first. What I felt was an incredible peace and an empowerment. All of a sudden your potential can start breaking boundaries. Two things we do tonight to finish with. First is communication. And this is the really the, the, the first time we're going to actually start looking at specific leadership skills. Up until now, you could say that the leadership skills we've been looking at have been more leadership of self. Learning to create intentions. Learning to be driven by our values. What are the skills and techniques that can help us organise our internal dialogue? Or become healthier, more vital, being more able to contribute into what we want to do with ourselves. But now though, when we start talking about communication, clearly we need people to communicate with. But here's what's important, we also need people to lead. If you're going to consider yourself a leader or somebody who inspires others, somebody who influences others, somebody who resolves conflict or deals with conflict directly, you're talking about someone who leads. If, if Nathan and I are having a conflict, let's, let's be honest, it would be wonderful if he would change his mind and, and, and agree with me, yes? Clearly that would be the best possible outcome. But failing that, and chances are that's not going to happen when you simply meet or, or have a conflict with another person, but if he feels understood by me, if he says she K understands, then I've got an opportunity to be productive. And if I get to a point where he says yes, that's the issue you understand me, then I'm in a position to lead. Not before then. Not before then. Before then, I'm simply prescribing a solution. Now, when you change, when you go, I don't want to do that anymore, I want to do this instead, what happens to that neural pathway? Does it sort of move across to the left a little bit or move across to the right a little bit? Does it sort of, it's like a river, you know, like, is it going this way and all of a sudden you're changing the course of the river so it bends? It doesn't. You know what? That neural pathway has to die. And you have to burn a new one. So change is a little bit misleading. We're really talking about that whole cycle of life and death. This neural pathway has to die before this neural pathway can be more dominant and then finally become the new habit. What is it about your own health and well-being and how amazing could that be? Make your outcomes extraordinary. <laughs>